Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that Circle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. I got everybody's name on there, too. A little flattery never hurts. Let's see, President Joseph Carson. First Vice President Steve Elliott. Second Vice President Mrs. Steve Elliott. Yeah, well, that's the way. What's that? Second Vice President Mrs. Steve Elliott. What's the idea of that? It's part of my plan to eliminate labor management problems. I make everybody management. Well, that isn't what I mean. Mrs. Steve Elliott. Who'd you have in mind? Why, Betty Joe, of course. Oh, I know they ain't married yet. They're not anything yet. <laughs> but it's only a question of time. I figure why not just put her name in now and not have to change it later. After all, I buy this stuff by the hundreds. Us businessmen have to look ahead. <laughs> You're looking too far ahead, marrying off my baby. Kate, they're dating every night. They're always together, ever since that night of the storm. That doesn't mean anything. They got a crush on one another. Naturally, they're good friends. And the... Oh, boy. I'll go place this order with Sam Drucker. Wait a minute. Don't you dare. For all you know, nothing will come of this. Nothing at all. They're too young. Oh, come on, Kate. He was in the Air Force. They do more than flying their planes and maneuvering, you know. <laughs> they give lectures and have chaplains. I wasn't talking about him. Well, all I can say is you might as well face the evidence and get ready to put a surprised look on your face when he pops a question. But it's bound to happen. You know better than that. You don't get to lick that spoon until I'm through. Now get down. <laughs> and don't give me that. I'm the one that should be upset. Hi, Miss Brannick. <laughs> Steve. Sorry if I startled you. Oh, that's all right. Uh, could I talk to you privately? Well, I think you can trust him. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all right if he hears what I've got to say. Mrs. Bradley, there's something I want to ask you. It sounds pretty important. It is. Possibly the most important thing of my whole life. Oh? Mrs. Bradley, what... Oh, <laughs> He'll go along with anything you have to say, as long as you let him lick the spoon. <laughs> there you go, boy. Now, where were we? Um, oh, yes. <clears throat> you were saying... Uh... I was saying that, well, you know how fond I am of Betty Jo. Oh, yes, we're all fond of Betty Jo. She's such a happy, fun-loving little girl. <laughs> Little girl? <laughs> well, I don't think of her as so little. As a matter of fact... Say, did you ever play catch with her? Oh, she throws a wonderful baseball. She's a regular tomboy. <laughs> I don't think of her as a tomboy either. See, that's the whole point. Excuse, I think of Betty Jo as... Excuse me, and, uh, go on. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, anyway, what I was trying to say, Mrs. Bradley, is... I've got a pretty good business built up now, and, well, my plane is, is, is more than half paid for, and... I, I, Ex excuse me. Uh, uh, go right ahead. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, my business is, is pretty well built up now, and, 
And while I don't feel I'm the greatest catch in the whole world, I, I do feel that, that Betty Joe and I and Mrs. Bradley, I've got to ask you one question. What is it? Why are you putting cake frosting on the meatloaf? <laughs> just lucky you're not a mother. <laughs> you don't know the problems I have. And it wouldn't kill you to pay attention after all you owe me. Didn't I give you a whole chocolate-covered meatloaf? <laughs> That's better. You got a stake in this, too, you know. You're Betty Joe's dog. Can you honestly see her getting married? Can you? She hurry. Betty Jo. Now let's see, Kate. What is it I say? I do? <laughs> oh no, that ain't me. Uh, oh yes, I remember. When the parson says, Who giveth this woman? I say, I doeth. <laughs> Betty Jo, are you gonna be late? Are you kidding? On the most important day of my life? <laughs> my game? Betty Jo! This is your wedding day. Oh, no. I can't get married today. This is the big all-star game. <laughs> hey, maybe we could get married tomorrow. Uh, that is, if we lose. If we win, we go to the state playoffs. And if we win that, we go to the regionals. And after that, it's the nationals. Well, I don't know when I can work in a wedding. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> with a problem? Uh, something personal? Well, sort of. It's, um, it's about this friend of mine. And, uh, my friend has three children. Just like you. Uh, no, these are boys. Son. Oh, three sons. That's right. There's the, um, there's the oldest one and the middle one and the youngest one. That's the way they come, all right. <laughs> well, th this friend has a problem with his three sons. Fred McMurray. <laughs> That's your friend. Oh, I watch his show on television all the time. My three sons. It's a fine program. I didn't know you knew Fred. Sam, I wasn't referring to... He is the smartest man. You know, he always knows what to do. And imagine he started out as a saxophone player. <laughs> you haven't listened to the problem? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, well, my friend with the three sons... Fred McMurray. <laughs> Sam! Oh. Anyway, this friend with the three sons has a border. And this border is is in love with one of the sons. A border? Uh, like Steve at the Shady Rest? <laughs> Only this one's name is Stephanie. <laughs> she isn't in love, as you would think, with the oldest. But with the youngest son. The youngest? Isn't that awful? That's ridiculous. You mean that little fellow with the great big glasses? He's over 11 years old. Sam! I wouldn't worry about that for a minute, Kate. Fred will never stand for it. <laughs> you got the wrong person. Oh, I have? Yes. Well, uh, <clears throat> I tell you, what I think we ought to do then, Kate. Uh, why don't we call the three kids Billy Joe, Bobby Joe, and Betty Joe and call the border Steve? I wasn't too clever, huh? Not too, no. Still want my advice? Oh, yes, I do, Sam. Steve is a fine boy, but Betty Joe is too young. She's really a baby. Well, that's in your eyes, Kate. 
Well, to the rest of us, Betty Jo's a grown woman. Oh, of course, Betty Jo will always be Betty Jo, the shortstop. But if she's found her real, true love, I don't rightly see how you can come between them. Well, don't you see, Kate? Love doesn't follow the rules that we lay down. Love goes by the heart, not the calendar. The heart, not the calendar. It's true. I wish I'd known that years ago. I might not be standing here giving bachelor's advice. Sam, I'm very grateful. You've given me the answer to my question. Thanks. No thanks necessary, Kate. I feel as close to your family as if they were my own. Dear Sam. So nice I know I can always come to you. I wonder if I did what Fred would have done. <laughs> no. He probably would have reminded her to take her groceries. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Bradley. <clears throat> Yesterday, uh, you wanted to ask me a question and I stole you. Well, I kind of got the idea that you didn't want me to ask you. You were right. Uh, I, I thought I knew what you were going to ask and I didn't have the answer. I see. Steve, you love Betty Jo very much, don't you? She's the only girl in the world. Well, if you ask me that question now, I think I'll give you the answer you want. You mean... Yes, Steve. You and Betty Jo have my blessing. Oh, Mrs. Bradley, you're the greatest. <laughs> now all I have to do is... It... Oh. What's the matter? Now comes the tough part. Asking Betty Jo. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Me. I thought once you got past me, the whole thing was solved. Oh, I sure wish that was true. Well, you know Betty Jo will say yes, don't you? Well, I'm pretty sure she will, but what if she doesn't? Mrs. Bradley, when I was in the Air Force, I faced enemy gunfire, flak, got shot at, shot down. Nothing, nothing has ever shook me half as much as the thought that that little redhead might say no. Well, Steve... I guess you're just going to have to pick the right time and the right place. So she'll say yes. Every time I get ready to go fishing, the line gets all messed up. Hey, kids, could you give me a hand? Oh, sure, glad to. If you'll just unsnarl it, I'll wind it back on the reel. Oh, uh, Joe, what are you bothering the kids with that for? Oh, we don't mind, do we, Steve? No, we don't mind, do we? Uh, well, uh, look, I I'll help you with it. Kate, you've got better things to do than unsnarling fish lines. But I love to unsnarl fish lines. <laughs> Some people like to do jigsaw puzzles. I love to unsnarl fish lines, pardon me. One of these days when I get time, I'm going to try unsnarling women. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing? My homework. Why aren't you doing it in your room? I feel so cooped up in my room. Well, that's the best type feeling to have when you're doing homework. Cooped up. Helps the concentration. Hi. You have to do it now? Well, what's wrong with now? Well, you, you, you should never practice on an empty stomach. Well, I had a huge breakfast. Oh. Well, that's even worse. You, you, you should wait a while after we... <laughs> well, that's for going swimming. What's going on? Uh, well, I just thought that... Look, it's such a lovely day. Why don't we take one of our good old-fashioned family hikes? Well, what good old-fashioned family hikes? Yeah, Mom, we never went on hikes. We didn't. 
Well, side time we did. <laughs> pick berries and smell the flowers and look at nature. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> you know, it does sound like a pretty good idea. As long as it ain't work. Look at Betty Jo and Steve. No, 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 I mean, uh... You, you, you know how Betty Jo and Steve are on a hike. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Up the hill, down the hill, through the woods, through the woods. <laughs> I'll be right with you. <laughs> well? Well? Well, what? Betty Joe, did you ask her? Well, no, it didn't seem like the right time, and with so many people around. I got rid of all of them for you. You go and ask her. Well, now she's up washing her hair. Oh. Besides, there's plenty of time. Plenty of time for you. I'm keeping a secret. I'm about to burst. Well, you're no more anxious than I am, but when I ask her, it's got to be the right time and the right place. Yeah, I know, Stace. Oh! <laughs> you going to pop the question? Then he is. Steve's going to marry Betty Jo. Shh. Uncle Joe, I don't want you to say a word. I want Betty Jo to find out before the whole valley does. Right. My lips are sealed. Steve's going to marry Betty Jo. <laughs> Morning, Floyd. Morning, Kate. Guess you're a proud mother today, huh? What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. Oh, I ain't supposed to tell. I mean, uh, usually I say, nice day, ain't it? But today I thought I'd change it a little, so I said, uh, guess you're a proud mother instead. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Uncle Joe been talking to you? No. Well, 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 Out with it, Floyd. What'd he say? Nothing. Honest. All he said was, keep your Sunday suit pressed, and can you play Oh, Promise Me on the harmonica? <laughs> Howdy, Kate. Well, to see everything worked out just fine. Good for me, too. Oh? Uh -huh. Yeah, I just got the shipping notice saying my new supply of dress material will be here in plenty of time for the big event. <laughs> What's the matter, Kate? Did Uncle Joe tell you about Steve and Betty Joe? Why, no, Kate. Well, I, not exactly. I mean, what with what I already knew and what Joe hinted at, I got a pretty good idea. Oh, he hinted, huh? Well, now, in fairness to Joe, Kate, he just asked me one little question. Well, what was that? Well, he wanted to know where he could rent a tuxedo, if I thought Ed would make a good best man, and would I tell Parson Meadows to tune up the organ in the church? That's one question. It's a good thing you didn't tell Sarah, the telephone operator, or the party line, and the valley would have had a field day. <laughs> Hello, Drucker Storm. Yeah, she just happens to be. Okay. Sarah sends her congratulations. <laughs> Honest, Kate, I didn't say one word about it. Oh, sure. <laughs> Floyd knows, Sam knows, Sarah knows. You know, I expected a slight leak, but I didn't expect the Johnstown flood. <laughs> I'll go to court on that. Never once did I say outright that Steve was going to marry Betty Jo. Oh, I'll bet that you never said that. Is it really Betty Jo? Betty Jo? Oh, boy. Is it true? Oh, yes. Yes, it's true. Now, let's all go up on the roof and bounce it off Kelstar. <laughs> Something wrong? Only that everybody knows except the person that it's happening to, namely Betty Jo. Oh, here they come. Oh, good. <laughs> Maybe he asked her. Hi. 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 <laughs> What's new? Oh, we just went boating on Crystal Lake. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to go upstairs and straighten out my room. See ya. Well? Huh? At the lake. Why didn't you ask her? 
You know, right time, right place. Well, you know where Crystal Lake is, don't you? Yes, right next to Zippel's hog farm. Right. Well, I was waiting for just the right time and the right place, and this was it. So I took her hand in mine, and I looked deeply into her eyes, and just as I was about to say, will you marry me, the wind shifted. <laughs> Not the right time to marry. Sure wasn't. Steve, uh, you, you know me real well. Uh, w would you call me an eager, pushy mother? No, I've never thought of you that way. Good. From now on, think of me that way. <laughs> Look, don't waste any more time. Please, ask her. I'll explain later. It'll be tonight for sure, Mrs. Bradley. For sure. <laughs> you remember what happened right here about a year or so ago? I'll never forget. This is where your plane crashed. What's more important, though, this is where I first saw you. Betty Jo. Yes? Betty Jo, will you... Sorry down there. The drain must be clogged up with a dead crawdad or something, because I can't get any water for the cannonball. i got to bail out the whole tank. <laughs> Take the tub at the end of the hall, and, and you can take the other one. <laughs> Steve, did you? What in the world? <laughs> Guess it wasn't the right time in the right place. <laughs> Morning, Sam. What are you doing down here? Kate, I wanted you to be the first to see it. There you are, Kate. Lay your eyes on that. <laughs> Ain't that a doozy? Oh, no, you can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? I'm a newspaper editor, and this is one of my biggest scoops. Th th that's such a scoop that, that even the bride-to-be doesn't know about it. <laughs> he doesn't know about it yet? Oh, dump and crime any case. Practically, the whole valley knows about it. And I gotta get this out before the Pixley pick you and beats me to the punch. <laughs> Sam, you can't put it out today. It'll ruin everything. Steve is taking Betty Jo to that, that quaint little restaurant in Riverdale. Oh, the one with the little brook running through the dining room? Uh-huh. You know, right time, right place. That's where he's going to ask her. They're, 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 they're right down there at the plane now, fixing her up to fly out tonight. Uh, it's uh, tonight. Right. So you can flood the valley with your papers tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Well, there, uh, there's just one thing, Kate. I'm waiting. I already gave all the papers to Floyd, and he's out on the cannonball now delivering them. Sam Drucker, you can't do that to me. You can't spoil the biggest moment in my daughter's life. Well, but Kate... You are going to get back every one of those papers if you have to go up and down the valley on a hand car. But Kate, that's impossible. By the time I get to my customers, they'll have already read the news. Give me that, and you wait here. I got her. There's no train. <laughs> Boy, I've heard about lions protecting their cubs, but when it comes to mothers and daughters, yeesh. <laughs> Short stop, try and shove that wire down to me. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Short stop. Yes? Will you marry me? Will I... What? <laughs> I love you. Will you marry me? Will I... I'll say I will. You know, I never thought I'd find the right time in the right place. <laughs>
function.